and welcome back to my lovely corner of the internet. My name is Courtney, your neighborhood cat lady. I swear she loves me. Don't you? You love me, right? Yes. <laughs> This video has been highly, highly requested for the past few months, and I know a while ago I said I wasn't going to be doing these every single month, and I don't remember the last one I did. So, uh, yeah. So I am bringing you guys another monthly favorites video since it was my birthday month, and I feel like May was just all around a, a pretty good month for me. So why not bring back the monthly favorites videos? So as always, I like to start out with makeup products for my monthly favorites videos. So the first one that I've been using a lot this month, which is probably my number one favorite out of all the favorites in this video, my Becca highlight in the shade Pearl. I love this so much. I still have like the little cover for it because I don't want it to get messed up, but it is so freaking pretty. Like, look at that so gorgeous I love it so much and uh, I use it every single day I really got it just realized I had lipstick on my teeth yes go me yeah it's still in its box because I am protecting it and I love it more than anything in the world other than my cat I love my cat a lot Luna welcome to the party next beauty favorite for this month is the lasting finish 25 hour Rimmel foundation I got this in a slightly darker shade normally I go for just like straight up palest ivory I can get but I went for classic ivory which is the shade 101 I'm pretty sure it's just two shades up based on the way that they shade this I do suggest using a damp beauty blender when you are using this because this does tend to get cakey and it likes to sit in my pores in like really weird places. I'm switching over to all cruelty free products right now. So I am trying to kind of get rid of all my other stuff. I'm using up the last bit of the products that are not cruelty free and I needed to find a new brand that had really good foundation and wasn't crazy expensive because it's so hard to find good foundation and makeup products that are cruelty free that are not like so much money out of pocket. This is the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in the shade 09. This stuff is amazing. I used it for prom and it seriously goes on so liquidy and smooth and then it dries in like seconds. All right, the next one is the Sinful Colors Professional Nail Polish. I don't know if you consider this a beauty, but I do. It is in the color Lilac, but not Lilac. It's like l-i-e dash l-a-c so it's like you're lying and you're lacking about it i don't know why i even try sometimes but i actually was wearing this color on my nails but i had to take it off for work the other day so uh this is one of my favorite shades for the summertime and the springtime i love a good purple and not too much of a harsh purple i did wear this for prom also if you watch my prom get ready with me now my next monthly favorite for beauty product wise is the Marc Jacobs lipstick and eyeliner duo I actually got this for my birthday with the beauty insider card from Sephora so it's just the little mini and the shade is in kiss kiss bang bang which is absolutely amazing I should have worn it today because this is one of my favorite colors and it's so tiny and cute like Look at that. Look at how cute that is. It's a really good everyday statement lipstick. And I know that sounds really contradicting within itself. Like how can you say it's an everyday when it's a statement lipstick? Really good shade for everyday wear. Like I could wear it every single day with any outfit that I want to. And I feel like it wouldn't clash with my outfit. Does anyone else have that problem? Like you wear a certain type of lipstick and it kind of clashes with maybe your shirt that you're wearing. And you're like, can't wear this lipstick today doesn't happen with this lipstick it's like the best lipstick ever and I love the eyeliner it's a very nice cream pencil eyeliner or is, is it considered a pencil I don't know I consider anything that's not liquid eyeliner a pencil so that's just me but I love this eyeliner for tight lining I recently started tight lining and I've always had a problem with my eyeliner not being creamy enough or not being smooth enough or pigmented enough and it always wants to transfer down here and I don't know why it's like over time my eyes just water or something and it just transfers all the way down onto my bottom line and it just irritates me so much because I look like I have raccoon eyes and I don't like that look I never line down here because it makes my eyes look so like squinty and tiny 
and it just kind of reminds me of my middle school days and that is not a time that I want to reflect on ever again. So that is it for my beauty products. The rest of the stuff uh, is going to be kind of miscellaneous. So we're going to start off with my favorite pair of shoes that I was so excited to start wearing again. Look like Jack Rogers, but they are knockoff ones. They're by the brand Palms and these are actually a little bit big on my feet. I can't find my gold ones at the moment. I have no idea where they are. Now in a few other monthly favorites videos that I had done, I can't remember if it was January's or February's, I can't remember, but I said that I have an obsession with scrunchies and I still think they are the most amazing thing in the entire world. It's just a Target like scoop neck tee and they had them on sale for $5 and I picked them up the other day and I got this like periwinkle color, which is my favorite one by far I wear my really cute bralette with it and I feel like it just like dresses it up and currently I'm wearing a onesie <laughs> on the bottom I don't know if you guys can see that I hope not but if you have oh well but I got it I haven't worn it yet it still has the tag on it but I got it in a like cream and black stripe and I also got it in this like light teal color light blue light teal all right my last few favorites have to do with like technology and stuff like that you've probably heard of this app but it is seriously so addicting and they are not paying me or sponsoring me or anything to talk about it but it is the best fiends app i love it so much i am so addicted i think i'm on level 32 no I'm on level 33 and it has gotten so hard but it's so much fun you guys should definitely definitely check that out super fun again not sponsoring me but best fiends if you want to sponsor me hi my name's Courtney I'll promote your app for you because it's bomb all right and the last the last monthly favorite for this month is Troy Savon I'm actually going in November to see him in Atlanta on the 18th and I am super duper excited. Oh, and if you guys wanna find any of the stuff that's in this favorites video and you wanna get it yourself, I will leave links to everything down in the description for you guys. And that is the end of this monthly favorites video. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to give it a big ol' thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to see more videos from me. As always, I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.